Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I did, um, but I didn't manage to buy any yoga mat or um, other devices. So, so we'll we'll have to do with a towel. And then I was thinking, you know, it's day 183, and we've done half the challenge. Uh, why don't I switch outfit and uh, and invite them to do some beach yoga with me? So we're gonna practice, you know, a yoga that we could do on the beach, you know, just on a towel. So it's, it's not going to be very complicated, but it's going to be nice and relaxing and strengthening. And um, I've got a request of explaining why I think or why yoga is beneficial for any other kind of training in each position. So I'm going to try to do that um, in some of them at least, maybe not everyone because it's, it's going to be a little much. But close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Pay attention to where you are in this very moment, how you feel right now. Pay attention to where your breathing is located in your body. We're going to lengthen and deepen our breath, so on the inhalation feel how your belly is expanding. And on the exhalation drag your belly button towards the spine. Inhale. Feel what happens in your body just by breathing like this.
do a fire breathing. We're gonna do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine, quick and fast. Beautiful. Now we're gonna do this uh, this beach thing, and we're gonna start it with a hip roll because I think it's one of the most beautiful exercises that we can do in yoga. It's a hip opener. So on the inhalation, come forward. On the exhalation, go back. Inhale. exactly where you are. So what we do in this one is that we warm up our spine, we let the body on its own per permits, permission, I don't know, um, kind of, you know, just wake up and um, um, how do I explain this in English? loose up you know it loosen up the tensions in the, the you can continue with the exercise while i'll explain um a lot of tensions is in the bind i need to check this word up but we think that it's just the muscles that are stiff but it's everything around like it's uh, everything around the muscles too so when you do exercises like this it loosens up so for me, for example, I was doing hip stretches for a very long time to try to open up my very stiff hips. But that didn't help and then I, I started doing this and it helped so much. I still have really hip, hip, stiff hips but not close to as they were before. So when you integrate the breath, it's like a very holistic movement. Stop in neutral position and now we're gonna come up to all our fours but before I'm gonna explain a little bit about my background and why I'm into yoga and um, I, I used to play a lot of handball uh, and uh, I've been like climbing and very like extreme sports like boxing and uh, I love I love exercises and especially like quick and sharp and like very hard ones I, I really enjoyed it a lot when I was younger and uh, and then I got problems with stress in my early career. So actually, I think it was my first boss. She was like, you should really do yoga. And I went to a yoga class when I was like 21. And I hated it. I was like, 
know, what would this do? You know, it's so boring. It's I'm just going to sit still. It's not going to give any results. Uh, so I didn't really get into it then. <clears throat> but like one or two years later, I started to do the sun salutation and I found Ashtanga yoga, which is a very physical yoga practice. And um, I started doing that a lot. Um, which suited me and my body type. I think I also have ADT. So, so Ashtanga is very, you work, like you get into, you do a series and it's the exact same series every every day. I did it every day for 90 minutes. And um, when you've done it for a while, you get into a flow, like a meditation flow in the movement. So that's the, like the first time I, I got to experience how it feels to be in meditation and uh, I also realized like when I got back into climbing after doing yoga for a while I realized that I am so much stronger in extended when my muscles are like straight you know I could actually use them so what yoga has done to me is that I have like a control over my muscles in every position where they are Someone asked me to like flex my, my biceps and explain, you know, so I'll do that now. <laughs> so if I do like, you know, a gym exercise, I do like this and I get like really strong here. Whereas if I do the yoga, I get like a very great control in every position. And it's very controlled. Like I don't need the energy. Like I, I can, you know, do this bend slow and easy and that's not what control is it's um, the energy of my muscles so what I've experienced is that I I have a different kind of strength that is really beneficial in every other sport I ever practice so um, like I was paddling for last week and it, my energy never goes like I can go on and on and on and on and on and on and also I can use my muscles for like a um, I get the axis of all the strength in my muscles. Uh, also, I, I've done a bit of boxing sometimes with one of my colleagues, uh, my ex-colleagues, and um, he says that you know, even though I don't, I haven't trained boxing in a very, very long time, and like because of the flexibility I have in my body and the strength, it's easy for me to get back into it, and that's what yoga gives me. So we're gonna come up to all our fours and continue this conversation so place your hands straight underneath your shoulders place your knees straight underneath your hips and on the inhalation come forward with your belly look halfway up the ceiling So why we do this like almost every class is because it's like warming up the spine something I never ever thought of before but it's one of the like most precious precious areas of the body and if we have a lot of tensions there it stiffen up the bones and uh, they 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 I don't know who but people say that you know we're not older than then we're flexible regular exercises the flexibility in the spine is never even like talked of well it wasn't when I was playing handball and soccer when I was younger at least maybe it is not okay we're gonna do we're gonna do this one and I'll explain like inhale come up with your arm and your leg here we work with our balance and both our muscles and on the exhalation we come down we integrate the breathing and we have a control in all the movements. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more.
comes out. And this was not so easy to do on a, on a towel. Uh, we're gonna do the other side as well. So inhale, come up. Exhale. And you know, compared to when I used to do other exercise, like here, I would like kick and then here I have control in all my movements because I follow the breathing, so I can't rush, rush through it. And stop in neutral position and come down. To child's pose and why we're in child's pose now is to get to give the body time to take in what we've been going through <clears throat> gonna come on to the other side We're gonna do the both work here. And here we work with our core muscles and the legs and our arms and everything is integrated. And since we're working with the breathing in this, we get the control here too. Can work down. With a totally different like control than than what I used to have. And we come down. We place our our feet. Close to our, close to our butt. It's not that easy when you don't have the mat. And then on the inhalation, you come up with your butt and just work your arms under. And here we push our legs down as much as we can. Here we work with a hip opener, no, chest opener. I'm sorry. At the same time as we. Work with our muscles here and the legs. I never think of this like when I do the yoga, I only think of how lovely it feels. So thank you, Alex, for asking me to do this. It's very unnatural <laughs> for me. I hope we can get your sister inspired. And don't hesitate, you know, to, to ask me questions if this is not clear. And we exit, come down. And I finish the class with one last forward bend. Get down on your sitting bones, straighten your arms up and exit bend forward. I'm super, super stiff. I think it's after the Coldplay concert. I was dancing so much and it was such a high, like, you know, I don't do drugs and alcohol anymore, but I was really high on life when I was watching that concert. So I feel like that. My body feels like it's hangover. <laughs> And God knows, my body knows how it feels to be hangover. But yeah, I, I think I've told you guys before, but um, when I came back from um, the US, you know, I'd been, before I, I moved to, to New York and LA, I, um, I was doing a lot of yoga and I was teaching and, uh, and I loved it. And I was practicing, you know, for hours every day. And then <laughs> I went there and I started doing a lot of drugs and uh, I had done it before when I was younger. Uh, and alcohol and um, and smoking. I was smoking like shit. And um, 
And then I came back after two years and I was like so miserable. And I spoke to my, my yoga guru. Um, and it's like, I've been doing this and this awful and I know how to handle this and I, I've destroyed everything. Everything I've destroyed. And he, he told me like this. Yoga is very forgiving, Malin. And then, um, and then I started to practice again and I could feel that, you know? Uh, and also he said that the muscles remembers. So I, I got back into it really quick. So, you know, whatever you do with your body that is constructive, the body will remember. It's just that obviously it's, you know, you have to keep it up, but um, even if, you know, you just like me have had any like, you know, bad times in your life, we can all recover from it, you know, and, uh, and get back. So, don't lose hope. Inhale, come out. I'm gonna finish in a little meditation. Straighten up your back, get down on your sitting bones. Close your eyes. And focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Let this eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area you find an inner room where you spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come. Just you in this moment. like a big yoga applause Woo! because we've done half a year of a challenge 183 days I love you guys so so much for participating in this and I can't believe that it's actually like been half the challenge Um yeah let's you know let's keep it up let's see you tomorrow Bye.